1.4c, simplify algebraic expressions, combine like terms. Sometimes it is difficult to understand the concept of like terms. Therefore, let's look at this first sentence. John has five cats and three dogs. Sue has two cats and one dog. If we want to combine their like terms, or in this case, their like animals, we would first look at how many cats John has, which he has five cats. We then would look at how many cats Sue has, which is two cats. Together, they would therefore have seven cats. In the second portion, we then could see that John has three dogs and Sue has one dog. Together, we would add them and see that they had a total of four dogs. If we think of this in the algebraic sense, we can see that terms are numbers and that are, are numbers and variables or letters that are multiplied together. An example of this would be something like 4x. It is a number and a variable that are being multiplied together and called a term. Like terms are terms that have matching, the key word here is matching, variables and exponents. Combining like terms follows the steps that you will add or combine the coefficients or other word for a coefficient is a number from like terms. So this was adding or combining. We will now look at an example of this. In example one, we see that there are a variety of terms. In this case, there are five terms, 9x, 2y, negative 7x, negative 5y, and a positive 2x. We must identify how to combine the like terms. Remember, a like term must have matching variables and exponents. In example one, you can see that none of the variables have exponents, so we must just focus on them having matching variables or letters. If we highlight in yellow all of those that have x's, we would have 9x, negative 7x, and a positive 2x. Those that have y's are positive 2y and a negative 5y. We now add or combine those terms that have similar letters or variables. This means we would do 9x minus 7y plus 2y. And we do this by combining the numbers. So we actually combine 9 minus 7, which gives us 2, and that 2 plus 2 more would mean that I have 4x's. Next, I would combine the y's and as we can see, we have 2y and a negative 5y. These have opposite signs, which means we subtract the two numbers, giving us a 3, and we keep the sign of the larger, or 5, which is negative 3y. We have now combined all like terms, as we cannot combine the 4 and the 3 because their variables do not match. We therefore have simplified this expression as far as possible. In example two, you can see that some of the variables have exponents. And remember, the variable and the exponent must match in order to combine them. Therefore, we will start by highlighting all those with an x squared. We have 5x squared and a negative 7x squared. 
Next, we will highlight all of those that have merely an x and no squared. That is the negative 2x and the positive 4x. Finally, we will highlight the numbers as they have no variable at all and can only be combined with other numbers. We now start by combining the variable with the highest exponent, which happens to be x squared. We have a 5x squared and a negative 7x. 5 minus 7 means they have different sim signs. This means we subtract and we get a 2. We keep the sign of the larger, which was negative, and we write their variable with their exponent. Next, we go to the green or the x terms. We have a negative 2 and a positive 4, which are different signs. We therefore subtract, giving us a 2x. The sign on the 2x is positive because the 4 is the larger number, and it is positive. Finally, we combine the numbers. These two are both opposite signs once again. Therefore, we subtract, giving us 3, and we keep the sign of the larger one, or 9, making our 3 negative. Our answer is therefore negative 2x squared plus 2x minus 3. This cannot be combined further as none of these terms contains a variable and exponent that matches. The key to combining like terms is making sure that variables and exponents match and then you are allowed to combine their coefficients or numbers together. Sometimes it is helpful to highlight or circle or in some way label those that match so that it is easily identifiable in a long list such as an example too.